course first offered the 911 and hardcore GT3 RS guys in the first generation water cooled model, designated 996. Gunder Works apparently wondered what a GT3 RS built off the 911 generation immediately before the 996 you know, the 993, the last air-cooled 911 would be like. After seeing their answer, the 400R, we rethinking there really should have been a 993 GT3 RS. Gunder Works had 400R serial number 0 on display at the 2017 SEMA show, noting that it plans to build another 25 for customers. Here is what those lucky few will get, after either providing a 993 Carrero 2 of their own or paying GW to find one to start with, and paying at least $525,000 for the finished product. The car is stripped down to its steel body shell and its engine removed. Gunter Works then squares up the track width front and rear to mitigate what it describes as the 993S signature understeer, using stock front suspension mounting locations 1.2 inches outboard of the factory setting used by Porsche race teams. It then crafts new carbon fiber fenders, primary bodywork, bumpers, hood, rear decklid and spoiler, and roof panel around the wider platform. The doors remain steel as they incorporate the stock side impact beams. Beyond the lightweight bodywork, Gunter Works goes to town on the 911S air-cooled flat 6 and transmission again inspired by Porsche's modern-day GT3 RS treatment. Only the crankcase is retained, as the engine gains all new heads, Mayhill pistons, a water-cooled 4.0-liter flat 6S crankshaft, Camillo rods, and a GT3 oil pump to cut horsepower losses to the stock accessory drives powering the hydraulic power steering pump and the air conditioning compressor, those two drives are yanked from the engine bay, GW switches both pumps to electric units and relocates them to the front of the car. The result is extra displacement, a full 4.0 liters, just like today's car, a 7800 revolution per minute redline, and, in the car's custom tuned sport mode. 431 horsepower and 315 pounds to foot of torque. A quiet mode lops 30 horsepower from that figure and switches the borrowed 997 generation GT3 RSS dual mode exhaust to its more muffled setting. Other enhancements include an additional oil cooler, a carbon fiber intake clean and modeled after a later water cooled GT3 RS unit, and new gear ratios for the 6 speed manual transmission. Due to the extra power, Gunder Works actually raises the first gear ratio and tightens up the remaining five forward gear ratios. Sixth gear is slightly shorter than stock, falling between the stock car as fifth and sixth. Performance, as you might expect, is said to be as breathtaking as the car S sound. At only 2,670 pounds, the 400R has an insane power to weight ratio. There are also several modern touches, among them a front axle lift feature for clearing steep driveways, the aforementioned sport mode which didn't exist on the original 993 and newer suspension components. The car on display at SEMA is, overall, incredible, skipping the pretty thing pretense of Singer's intricately detailed Drista Mod 911s for a focus on balls out performance inspired by a car that never existed. This car, based on a 1995 Porsche 911, is for GWS own development and fun time. Only 25 more will be built to individual customers' specifications. If you have half a million dollars and a spare 993 sitting around, this seems like a great way to combine the two.